What did you think about your team's effort today to, to battle back after falling down 2-0? And, you know, they could easily have you know, folded the tents in after yesterday's game yeah, by the battle back. The guys did a good job yesterday. We got bludgeoned pretty good. And um, it's a good thing that will add up the total scores over the weekend and give somebody a win based on round score because we would have lost that one. But the, the guys did a good job. Dominic Mazza battled a little bit early. And, it, you know, they, they had some momentum from yesterday coming in early and squared up some balls early. And I thought we had a chance to, to cave. And Dom did a good job of resetting there and uh, throwing his game and kept him off balance and got better as the game went along. And it looked like it was just a, he got stronger and stronger as the game went on and it seemed like that really spurred you guys and is he a guy that's going to have to do that for you guys on the weekend until you get the rotation fully figured out and get Pettibone back? Well, we like him because he throws three pitches for a strike. You know, I think if he could show a little bit more poise, you know, he lost his poise on the ball back to him. The comebacker and then on the punt. You know, he's a, he's a tremendous athlete and makes those plays a million times. I think he, if he can keep his poise, he's lost his poise in each one of his starts so far. He throws three pitches for start strikes and it's a bug, Bugs Bunny changeup. I mean, it's a plus if you struck on seven guys and probably all of them are on changeups would be my guess because it's a really, really good changeup. And we just don't have a lot of guys that have that kind of out pitch uh, to be able to start for us. So we'll, you'll see him there, 3 4 slot. We'll get Pettibone back next week. We'll start him. We'll start uh, the second game of the doubleheader and go two to three innings. And he's been looking good in the pen. So that will help settle in our rotation a little bit. And then we still got to figure out Sunday. We're kind of in the same spot we were at last night between Maza and Vasquez and Nesovic. And, you know, he's going to be able to do it. It's really. Robbie does a good job, but he just doesn't have the opportunity to really train like a, a full-time yeah. pitcher, and so his body yeah. never seems to recover. And you know, playing, playing the you know throwing the third game actually after DHs, he just seems to fade a little bit. So uh, I think if all he did would pit, was was pitch, he'd be our Sunday starter uh, with Pettibone and Hockmeyer uh, early. But we still got a lot of question marks. So. And how do you try to answer those? You know, with with conference season coming up so quickly. We'll see how Pettibone goes. You know, if he can do his thing, then we'll, then we'll insert him, and then it'll really just be a matter of who that other guy is at the end of it. And on the other side of the ball, hitting the ball really well. Didn't get too many hits today, but got him when you needed him. Uh, and Joey Epperson just continues to, you know, rake out there yeah, for you. He's really to even his outs are hard. And he can see, he's seeing the ball. He's getting swings on everything. And um, after him, it kind of dropped off this weekend, which I they did a really good job cross counting. They threw a lot of strikes and, and uh, pitched this tough. But we didn't get a lot of swings off this weekend. So um, we're going to have to go back to the drawing board a little bit with that. And, have a better weekend offensively. It's, you know, that's what that's what pitching's like in the big blast. You know, everybody, everybody's got some arms like that in the big blast, and they're, they're close one run ball games. So we have to be a little bit better. And how do you feel about your team uh, off to a really good start? How do you feel about it with conference season coming up? Uh, is there anything that you guys really want to work on in particular, or are you kind of happy with what? with the season so far? Yeah, I think we're still making too many mistakes. We get too many base on balls coming out of our bullpen, you know, besides Greg Molly and Dylan Tate. Those two guys have been solid with the lead, but when we've got a tie game and it, or we're down, we've got too many guys that aren't throwing strikes out of the bullpen. We've got to fix that part of it and, and then play play more consistent defense. I think that's something. We'd like our starting pitchers, pitching to settle into. I think we're still more unsettled than we'd like to be you know, at this point. So those are things that we need to focus on and then minimizing the mistakes. You know, we we missed a hit and run sign today, threw a ball in the center field. And I think those, those things, they didn't hurt us today, but I think over the long run they will. And, um, you know, Wichita State, they're, they're good. It's a good team. It's a, it's a regional team. It's a, you know, in, my, in my opinion, of all the teams that we've seen, you know, they're, they're, if not the best, one of the best.